October 22, 23. Wow. 1993. Yes. Hazel McCallion. Everyone knows her. Oh, wow. Well. So she sent in her letter of recognition as well when Mount Zion Apostolic Church of Canada opened their doors. Awesome. 1967. His credentials. How awesome is that? I the Church of Jesus Christ. Is that? Is that um that's that's Bishop Great, that's what I was about to say, Bishop Murray. Done. Look at that. Mother Hall, this is the young man. So 14 years ago when I came to the house, when I was doing the PhD though, I was finishing up my interviews. And I was under such tight guidelines, I was like, I gotta finish the interview with you, Mother Hall, because I was 30, I was due. <laughs> to have the baby and I just needed to get this last interview in. And he was in my baby at, the, at that time. 14 years later, I'm no doing another did. interview no with Mother did. Hall and my son is out of my belly. <laughs> Isn't that amazing though? Talk about longitudinal study. Andre was in my belly when I met you 14 years ago when you gave me all that history and I'm here again to get an update. <laughs> I'm here with Mother Hall, the wife of the late Bishop Hall who is the founder of Mount Zion Apostolic Church is here in Canada, and we're gonna get right into it. It's amazing, I, I think about like this book of written, Black Church of Canada, and the front row, you just see these little children. <laughs> I know people wonder, who are these little children at the front? <laughs> Del, it's Del! <laughs> this is who is at the front? I'm that like, little girl at the and front. And I'm like, can yeah. you, like how do you, see yeah, mother, how you brought the baby to church that way? Three weeks. Except that she's barefooted. No, you're in the, ch the church pew for three, three weeks. Three weeks old. That's not a long time, Mother Hall. Usually no. it's like seven, eight weeks no. before you bring the baby to no, bless. No. As soon as they bless, that's <laughs> 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 My first time, Bishop Hall, you used to sing at the choir. You were singing at the choir at Greenwood? Yeah. Hmm. And Bishop Hall tell them that they have to wear a hat. They have to wear their hat? Yes. And after we just said that the hat, for the hair starts to come down. Who said it messes with their hairstyle? The, the, the ladies, them up there. Oh! <laughs> you be she don't wear a hat. Right, oh. But Father, I said, it's supposed to be a hat. Okay. That's what the Bible said, go on, you're supposed to do so, so to me, right. and I cover it. Right, right. So they used to do it for a while, then I said, well, this is messed up the hairstyle, and I said, <laughs> so you come to this cold country. <laughs> were you baptized in Canada or in Jamaica? Jamaica. Where? Bishop Green is falling. Bishop Green, he's what? Are, he's my second photo in the book. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> Mount Zion. <laughs> he's yes. yes. When the girls have come up yeah. from the river and they stick the only time the bus. Yes. So we make friends and we take the bus from one station, this one station, and we stick to the, to the church. And that's how we get to know all this. Really? Yes. So you just knew, yes. go to Honest Ed. Yeah. To me, all even people you don't know. Yes, and we just get together because it wasn't much luck, yeah. and so we used to travel on the bus and go together from place to place. Yes, to place to yes. And that time we used to get nice, nice tape, nice um, record, on on um, oh Young Street here. Yeah. Oh, the record man. Oh, the record man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So what would you go, what kind of tapes would you go there to get? Record, and I, I used to have a record player. Mm -hmm. You could even tape the record from one thing to the other. Yeah, it was like Mahalia Jack. Have a lot of, I don't know where the tapes are now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're talking late 50s, early 60s. That's some. I remember one of them being. So, did you have a feeling one day that you were going to become a pastor's wife? I didn't think so. I didn't know about it. I dream, I dream it. I visualized it. You had a vision? Yeah. Wow. In fact, I used to work on the train and I was in newspaper. Okay. Way up there and I would. And I dreamt that Bishop Crosley. Bishop Crossley from, from Buffalo. 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 He's BW, yes. Come yeah. and tell me that he was going to ordain him as a bishop. And I said, no, I don't want to know bishop wife. <laughs> I don't want to be no bishop wife. Wow. Because bishop wife has got too much problem. Mm -hmm. I said, and, and then I said, God, if you want me to be a, a minister, I won't stand with you, but you can't go and stand with you, take note of his life. Oh. And I said, I don't, as far as the church is concerned, I have nothing to do with it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I never asked one question to the day in life. I never opened his wallet, I never asked one question. I work in the background. Yes, mm -hmm. right. To help him, to of make him, you know, yes. I carry people to sleep yes. at home, they have the food. Yes. When they come from France, they come to the house and they eat and then they spot. Yes. I have to go down to the basement and sleep on the chest of feeding. One head and one down, leave my room, leave my room, get them, send my wow. kids them to my sister. Wow. And then get the house to take the house to people them. So who are these That's people? These are just people coming in from, from Jamaica and stuff? No, no, or just from, from, people from, from America, what? from Buffalo, from, 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 from Montreal, from Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. Like when the church started, the church used to be like when you have convention. Yes. All the churches come together, it's not oh. like now. And then you have to put them up when they come. Right. So you give up your room, give up the children's room. Yes, everything, wow. everything. And then you have to cook. And you're cooking and, and you're giving them the spot and give them stuff up. Right, I right. It wasn't easy. It yes. Was, you know, I, I don't regret it. Praise God. Amen. Wow. Was Bishop Hall active in the church before he came to Canada? He was a deacon. Oh, he was a deacon. Mm -hmm. At the sh at Shiloh with Shiloh. Bishop Rowe. Yes, Bishop yes. Rowe was his pastor. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he was a deacon working in the church. Yeah. And then, did he, but did he, was he active at Greenwood when he went there? Like, was he? No, he just used to stay in the choir. Okay. Yeah, you used to sing at the choir. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But then he used to speak like a youth. Youth night or yeah, something? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. How long were you? So you were at Greenwich for a good five years. Yeah, more. Yeah. As much yeah. as that from 58, right? Oh, yeah. I was, you know, so. And then McNally, he stayed there till 67. And I was very, it was a very nice one. Yeah, everyone says yeah. that. I, I, I was working and I took my employer and I, and I, and I, and I saw his son. Mm -hmm. The woman wouldn't come because she, she, my employer wouldn't go to the synagogue with his wife. Friday, right? But wow. she come, he come to church with me. Really? <laughs> and his daughter, because I used to talk about the church and what the church do and what the church do. Yeah. And he wanted to come and see. And rain was falling Sunday morning and he come to church with me. And it was something else. It's the first I do ever in the apostolic church. A Jewish so man went, went to an apostolic church <laughs> based on what you're telling them at home. <laughs> Because you're working it, with them, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my God, it was something else. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and, okay, okay. And, it was the only church in, in Ontario that we could go. There was no more apostolic right, church. Right, right. So everybody right. come go to Greenwood. Yes, yes. Everybody yes. meet in right at the Greenwood. Right. Everybody meet in right at the Greenwood. So. so good fellowship, good. Yeah. Right, right. So when you moved on. I was, what? I was going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant. Which one, which one was the black? When I did You're at prophecy. You must have been the twins. I, 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 okay, I, I, the twins. And I, um, I, I see this lady crying, and she was crying, and that's why. And she said, "They turn her out, and she didn't have to go." And I said, "She's I, a black woman." Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, no. I oh. said, you see, my husband sitting at the place, tell him I said to put you up. At that time, I had three floors. Oh, okay. One room up there was empty, mm -hmm. and I said, tell her, tell him to tell you." I tell you, you put you up upstairs. So, mother, when I come on, you're <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> you're pregnant with twins. Mm. You see a woman on the street crying. Yeah. You go to her and say, "What's wrong?" She <laughs> said her employer just kicked her out. And then you tell this stranger, mm. "Go to this house where I live and tell my husband to put you up." Mm. Fast forward 2020. Who's doing that? Right? No. You know what I'm saying? No. That's compassion, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. 
Are you okay? So did she go? Did she go yeah, to the she house? She was the trainer for quite a while, yes. Wow. <laughs> and when he is right, she's a picture. They said in that poem about right a picture of him pulling up, pulling up. Wow, pulling up, the pulling power, up, the yeah. power. What we, wow. what, this, 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 I don't know the trade of Pomba after that. Again, I don't know. It. People mm -hmm. have to change. We have, we have to change. What do you, you think the difference to, is now from mm -hmm. there to now? What's the difference? What do you think, think why it's I not think, like that? I think that the fear of God is gone over the fear church. Of God. The fear of God mm -hmm. is gone over the church. Mm -hmm. I think people, it's like you're talking about the, the, the mentality of, I can, I can only speak for my father. Uh, he drove the bus, he picked up people. The church bus, it wasn't beneath him to pick up people by the church bus and then come and preach. It wasn't beneath him to use his car to go and pick up whoever wow. and, and get them to church. Yes. Oh, right. The mother I used to work with wanted to go to open gas station. Gas station. He said no. He said no. He said because when he come at night, it, 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 he wanted to see his family. Oh. And he didn't come here to get rich. I guess he had it in his head before. Mm -hmm. God didn't say put in his head. Hmm. And he, he, he never, never. He said, didn't take the offer. No, the man that. was going to buy. Listen, he was going to go down and use his money. Let me work. tell you about my dad. And uh, we talk about all the time. That my dad was the type of person, anything that had to do with the church, yeah. with God's house, with God, yes, it had to be a class. Mm -hmm. He will take second-hand things, like second-hand cars or whatever, for yeah. himself or yeah. whatever. But when it comes to church business, uh -uh. He, didn't, he didn't get the dregs. He wanted the best. He expected wow. the best. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? yes, yes. Um, I remember when we went shopping, even for um, as a pastor's easy. kid, um, I, did, I, I knew that he wasn't mine only. You know, we, I knew that we had to share him. That, 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 was, that was a given. But one of the things I will never forget is the fact that he made time for us, nonetheless. Wow. Like, little things. I, I remember um, we were talking to somebody just the other day that after service on a Sunday night mm -hmm. in the summer, we would be driving with Dean McKenzie. We would be driving down to Lake Ontario, Lakeshore. After and church? After church, and we'd have an ice cream, and then oh, we'd be gosh. climbing the trees, and we'd be, like these are the yes, little things, like you know what I mean? Just the time right. that's spent, yes, you know? Yes, um, yes. These are the things that uh, I, I'm hoping that current pastors don't neglect their families. Right. That even if it's just, a, it does, it's not necessarily the great amount of time, but the quality of time. That 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 that, that that you know like PKG you just you gotta learn you, you know like you gotta share. Yeah. What do you say to pastors' wives, Mother Hall? Yeah. What do you say to young pastors' wives now? Well, I told them there's a lot of things that you should you have to be what you should. You have to be like a virgin, and you can't pretend like you're better than anyone. Don't pretend like you're better. No, than you anybody. can't. Okay. You have to be the same with everybody okay. equal. You right. can't treat anybody different. Then, mm. you know what I mean, and and and, uh, and and you have to make yourself available. That if somebody come and ask you something, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you have to say, well, you know, this is what and this is what and yeah. this. You have to do what you have to hear these things and observe. Pretend like you don't hear. I have to see it and close your eyes. My my granddad will tell you. Mm. See it and pretend like you don't see it. Mm. You know, because if you're going to take those things on. It will stress you out. Right, uh, right. It will become depressed. What right. right. you have to mm. see things and pretend like you don't see. Okay. Hear things and pretend like you don't hear. Right. So I don't pretend, you know, and I think that over time. Now, if you go to anybody's house, <laughs> you have to be careful where you sit. You got to make sure you take your shoes off. You hear yeah, that Canadian yeah. slang coming yeah. out there? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. I'm not going to ask you your age, Mother Hall, but are you I'm over 80? 80 80? years old. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to be 89 in February. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> You're 88 years old, Mother Hall. 88 and February, I'm going to be 89. God And I'm going to see them out in four. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to live to 104? That's amazing. Church is my life. Mm -hmm. I have a message about the whole church. Church is my life. Mm -hmm. So, 
I don't have anything to do with anything else, but I told you my life, whatever I didn't do me. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Mount Zion Church of Canada Food Bank. In 1967. Is it true you were the first convert? Yeah. Is it true that you were the first? You were baptized there? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's over 10 years, 13 years you have been in operation? Where? The food bank. The food bank. 13 years? I don't remember. No, 13? No, over 20 odd years. There you go. 20 oh. odd years? Yeah. Dell, where you get 10 years from? You're kind of off there with your year timeline yeah, there. I don't know. Really? Would you like to come and see me? I would love to. So what, Give me an example of what would be in the green bag. Mm -hmm. What would be in the green bag? Like, uh, like, have, like kind of canned foods and stuff? We have canned food in there, rice and flour, mm. and oil and... Mm -hmm. And all here is, this is our vegetable. This is the produce, okay. I can't oh. find it. And the brethren here at Mount Zion in Malton. Yes, it's a hall. It's getting ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah. is where everyone will come in and so much selection here. Yeah. And that's Sister Honda Jenna. What's his name? Brother Gillespie. Brother Gillespie. The and that's... Oh, love it. Oh, Sister Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. I know Sister Hampton goes way back to Mount Zion. Yes. So do they just come and help themselves or no, do you no, pack we it for them? them? Nice. We they can get like we them, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Over here we have eggs, eggs. and milk. Wow. <laughs> Sister Hall and I. We started up. You and Mother Hall? Hall? Mm hmm Myself and Brother Gillespie. So what year would that be? So if this is 2020, we're talking 2000 about? We're talking about 2000. Before 9-11? Mm -hmm. So this is Sister Patterson and Mother Hall here at the Mount Zion Apostolic Food Bank. Over 20 years that you've been working. God bless you. First convert of Mount Zion, still working for the Lord and Mother Hall, the wife of the late Bishop Weston Hall. And the daughter, the first daughter. <laughs> so great to be here. Thanks for everything. That's it. Every one of these walk tours of the black churches. Every single one of them are so different. They all have their own kind of organic feel. And, you know, this is 14 years ago when I sat with Mother Hall to get the history of some of the churches when I was doing my PhD. And to fast forward 14 years later, where I'm finally able to complete this book, it was just a full circle moment. Mother Hall is as sharp and as peppy and comedic and serious, all wrapped in one. And what a privilege to see these Caribbean pioneers in their golden years, their older years, but still full of spunk and conviction. Mount Zion Apostolic Church is one of the uh, very well-known churches across Canada. and. Uh, that's probably part one of Mount Zion because there's still more from this large church organization to touch on. Purchase the book, Black Church in Canada, Today's the Last Day of the Early Bird. Then after that, you, of course, you can still purchase slightly a little bit higher, but there's so much nestled in this book. As Mother Hall mentioned, Bell Pastor Green from 1932 and all these churches and how everyone is so connected and uh, this was another great evening another great talk just to learn a little bit more hopefully that you have been enlightened that much more black church in canada coming to you coming soon until next